Cinderella, a royal friend. The princess is coming, a crowd of girls exclaimed as they watched Cinderella's coach approach their school. I want to see the princess, cried little Emma, who had arrived at the school only a few days before. Don't worry, you will, replied Claire, who was the oldest. She's coming to visit us. Quickly, girls, gather around, said the school's headmistress as she opened the door. Welcome, your highness, she exclaimed. She and the girls curtsied as Cinderella entered the room. It's so nice to see you again, Cinderella said. Cinderella liked to help the girls with their schoolwork. She also brought books, clothes, and toys. Many of the poor girls had few things of their own. Everyone was happy to see the princess, but Emma most of all. Cinderella and the girls had a wonderful afternoon. After their lessons, they sang, danced, and told stories. Then Cinderella made an announcement. In one week, there will be a party at the palace in your honor. For us, the girls shouted excitedly. But what will we wear, Emma asked. Cinderella smiled. Why, the dresses I'm having made for each of you, of course, she said. And you shall have new shoes and gloves as well, Cinderella went on. I remember how much fun it was the first time I got to dress up for a ball. The next day, the girls talked about nothing but the party. They couldn't wait to dress up. While her classmates ran and played outside, Emma gazed at the palace. She couldn't wait to see what it looked like inside. Soon, Emma noticed a group of seamstresses walking toward the palace. She ran over to them and, without thinking, slipped in behind them as a guard opened the gates wide. Suddenly, Emma was in the palace. She ducked behind a curtain while the seamstresses went upstairs. Then, cautiously, she followed them. Now that she was in the palace, she had to explore. In one room, Emma found a huge bed with a pink ruffled canopy. She climbed into it and closed her eyes for a moment. Cinderella's mouse friends, Jacques, Gus, and Mary, came out from under the bed and introduced themselves. Suddenly, they heard voices down the hall. They ran toward them and found a room filled with seamstresses and gorgeous fabrics. Come in, come in, a seamstress called to Emma. She thought Cinderella had sent Emma to model the dresses they were to make. She draped some satin around Emma while the little girl stood still and enjoyed herself. When Cinderella stopped by a little while later, Emma was wearing a pink dress. More bows, please, Emma requested, and more ruffles, too. Oh my, that certainly is a fancy dress, and you look beautiful in it, Cinderella exclaimed. The princess thought the seamstresses had brought Emma. She remembered what it was like to do chores all day long so she invited Emma to have tea with her that afternoon. It must be wonderful to be a princess, Emma said between bites of sweet iced cake. You get to wear fancy clothes, go to parties all day, and order servants around. Cinderella laughed and shook her head. When a princess wants something, she asks politely, Cinderella said. And there's much more to being a princess than clothes and parties. Why don't you help me this afternoon and see what a princess really does? 
First, Emma and Cinderella collected baskets of food, clothing, books, and toys. Emma's favorite part was going through Cinderella's wardrobe to look for old clothes that could be donated to people who had little of their own. Soon, it was time to deliver the baskets to the schools and orphanages. As they passed through the village in the royal carriage, Emma waved at a passerby. Princess Emma, she thought. I like the sound of that. When they got to her school, the headmistress gave Emma a big hug. Where have you been? We've been worried, she cried. But I thought the seamstresses brought you, Cinderella said, confused. Emma explained how she'd snuck into the palace. I'm sorry, she said. I just wanted to see what being a princess was like. Being a princess is more than playing dress-up, said Cinderella. It also means being responsible. <laughs> 